What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering. I'm gonna to try to break down what was what is an even more complicated um situation than maybe Amber and Johnny. Now, if you're not aware, a popular Marvel actor named John Majors, Jonathan Majors, has lost all of his roles essentially in Hollywood after being uh accused, now not convicted, accused of doing some terrible things, essentially just putting his hands on it. His girl. But just like the exact same situation with Johnny, now that the court has seen everything, the situation seems a lot more complicated. Many people seeing the surveillance footage and saying that it completely exonerates him, but also some pretty heinous text messages have come out. I would argue that this is another situation of just two toxic people uh, being toxic. And uh, quite frankly, in that particular case, in America, only one person ever has to pay the price. And that's the real issue I have. If you have a couple that is, you know, doing this kind of stuff, putting their hands on each other, all this stuff, 99 times out of 100, maybe even higher than that, the man is the one that loses everything. The man is the one that gets fired. The man is the one that goes to jail. The man is the one um, that, that pays the ultimate price and it shouldn't be that way. Uh, sometimes I think like really <laughs> when you have just, you're in a toxic relationship, um, it's hard to really assign blame. So the first bit of footage that came out, so many in, in, and by the way, of course, this is getting broken down on racial lines because that's what people do because he's a black man dating a white woman. Um, I'm not, I'm not fooling with any of that. I'm not playing with that. I don't play the race stuff. I just think people are bad people one way or the other. But you see this. He tried to get away from an aggressive hyena. She chased him down several blocks. This is the same woman who said he, har uh, he harmed her that same night. If it wasn't recorded, everyone would have believed her. This is a majority of men. I agree. They try to get away from you know domestic situations, but women chase them down. They want control. They play the victim. When the police shows up, even though the man made every attempt to get away, this time she was caught on CCTV. So if you look at this footage, which TMZ released, you can see him. It's kind of blurry because their watermark's gigantic, but he's essentially pushing her into the car, like saying, you know, go leave or something like that, you know, and she continues to like scrap with him. He's trying to walk away. She's pulling on him, pulling on him. He's get, trying to get away from her, very obviously. he's The man is literally Forrest Gumping as fast as he can to get away from her, probably because he knows exactly how this stuff plays out in court. The man is running at full steam to get away from this woman. She's chasing him down. Now, is he going through some sort of mental episode here? She's trying to protect him, save him. I don't know. But it doesn't appear that way. It appears that he definitely wants to... Look at that. She just runs out in the road in front of traffic. Um, this man is doing everything he can to get away from her. Um, <clears throat> not great. Not great. Now, of course, this individual makes it about race. I 100% disagree with that because you can look at Johnny Depp. He writes, if when it's a black man, they move at a snail's pace to prove his innocence. That's BS. You know, Johnny Depp lost everything. Um, he still didn't get any of his jobs back either, even though he was proven innocent in court. Um, I, I think that this is more of a power dynamic of psychotic women uh, who know how the system works. And I'm not saying hashtag, it's not, you know, not all women, but, right, but women do know how the system works. And um, this is someone who probably knew that. Now, is there some context for the running away? It's possible. But there are other things here. <clears throat> you know, there are definitely injuries here. You see, you know, broken finger or bruised finger and then a little cut or something and then something on the neck I can't really see. Again, it all seems very superficial. But she was clearly the aggressor in that situation, right? You see this new video released Wednesday from Jonathan Major's uh, trial shows that the Marvel actor's then-girlfriend chasing him down Several city streets after what prosecutors say uh, were this encounter inside the backseat of a car service. The surveillance footage played for jurors in Manhattan uh, show Majors lifting his ex up and shoving her 
in uh, shoving her several times back inside a black Cadillac after it pulled over in Chinatown. The woman eventually follows Majors out of the SUV and the corner of Center and Canal Streets where he extends his arms to push her away from him before sprinting off. The girl, a British dancer and movement coach who met Majors in the set of Marvel. Um, look, this to me, I don't know. The world has gone crazy. They have no nuance. But to me, this is very clearly just a toxic relationship that uh, got messed up because there are other, you know, pretty heinous text messages um, between these two. New evidence, including disturbing text messages that were made public last week, as well as new audio recording in which Majors allegedly compares himself to Martin Luther King Jr., describes himself as a great man in what appears to be an attempt to prevent Jabari from going out drinking with friends. He seems like he's perhaps controlling. In the text messages, Majors attempts to dissuade Jabari from going to the hospital for a head injury. Quote, I will tell the doctor I bump my head if I go, she replies. I'm giving it one more day, but I can't sleep, but I need some stronger painkillers. Painkillers don't really help you sleep very often, at least not me. That's all I would tell them. I'll tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you. Oh, why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? So he clearly hit her or pushed her or something. There was something physical that happened. Was it in self-defense? I don't know. He proceeds to text her that he's a monster and threatens to end himself among other troubling texts. The audio record recording sheds new light on the case and the pair's relationship as well as into Major's high opinion of himself. I'm a great man, a great man, Major says at one point in the clip. I'm doing great things, not just for me, but for my culture and the world. He's starring in a Marvel movie. You're not really, I don't know about all that. He likens his grace, greatness to other important historical figures in the black community during that recording as well. Again, none of that matters. So what? He's conceited. So is everybody in Hollywood. Don't care. That's more. You know, I, I think that, you know, ultimately, um, when you're trying to dissuade a woman from getting medical attention over that, over something that happened between you, not a good look. Uh, but what I will say here is that it's, you know, there are two sides to every story. And I think what people forget in, in the modern world, I don't know about you all. Okay. But I have a feeling that many of us know somebody or have a couple, you know, friend couple that get that like get out of hand sometimes. Right. They drink too much, they party too much, and then before you know it, they're rolling around the floor, you know, getting aggressive, and then they're in the bedroom banging one out. You know, like, I've seen couples like that before, just toxic highs and lows. I think that's essentially what Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was. Um, the difference was that Amber Heard penned a letter to try and destroy his life when she was just as culpable. I mean, who can forget her grumpy she left on the bed? You know, these text messages, I mean, this is, you know, where he this is very controlling the where he's telling her he's planning on ending himself. Um, again, the, the most part is I will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so or don't trust me to. I promise I would never mention you, but I understand your fear. Responding by admonishing Jabari for failing to hug him after a fight, Majors then allegedly repeated his threat of self deletion it's not really contemplating anymore he led you followed up with another message i'm a monster a horrible man not capable of love i'm ending myself soon i've already put things in motion i mean this is extremely manipulative now i know a lot of people in particular in certain communities are looking at this being like that video automatically exonerates him from being doing anything bad this is a guy that needs mental he needs therapy he needs some sort of mental health, you know, evaluation. What I've seen between them is a vol highly volatile couple. Um, the fact that she's chasing him, who knows if he had said, oh, I'm going to go jump off a bridge. What if he had said that? We don't know exactly. There's context to these videos, right? Imagine if your loved one or, or a friend or something was like, I'm going to go jump off a bridge right now. Wouldn't you try to hold them back? Wouldn't you chase after them to try and stop them? I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying we don't know. Um, I don't think whatever was happening in that situation is enough to end the man's career. You know what I mean? 
I don't think he needs to go to prison. I don't think he needed to lose everything he had. I think he needs to get help. He needs to get help. This is the thing with men that often get overlooked. You know, men need help too. Men need people to listen to them too. Um, men need support too. Um, and, you know, I think that quite frankly, this particular situation, I know people aren't going to like this in the video. People, people want everyone to pick a side all the time, and I understand that. But to me, this is a, a very obvious case of a highly volatile, emotional, you know, uh, couple. Um, he clearly hurt her physically at some point. You don't tell a girl. She says, I won't tell them what really happened. I mean, of course, he, he pushed her or something like that. Now, that doesn't mean she didn't instigate it. That doesn't mean I don't know. But this is not enough to ruin someone's life. And the point is, it's usually only men who suffer any real consequences from this, as we're seeing in this particular case again.